The MP9 is one of four submachine guns available for all-out war in Battlefield 2042 at launch. It's got moderate firepower and a high rate of fire, making this weapon ideal for those close-range encounters. While it doesn't have the highest rate of fire, K30 will get to you eventually, it is much more controllable so you won't have to worry about emptying your magazine and only having an outline of your target on the wall behind to show for it. As usual with these weapon videos, I'll show you my loadout and then we'll talk a little about strategies you can use to maximise your effectiveness with the MP9. Let's head out to the loadout screen now and have a look. Okay gamers, so here it is, MP9, let's have a look inside. So yeah, essentially what you want to do with it is have the highest ammo capacity you can. So you see here I've got the close combat drum. You do unlock that quite late. So to start with, just get yourself this close combat extended. Then you get the drum later and obviously you get this one as well. Having the standard issue rounds is quite important because they do a higher damage. So just bear that in mind, depending on how many targets you want to be killing you would probably be better equipping the extended mag with the standard issue just because it does slightly more damage. But if you're just going to kind of spray and pray, the drum is your dude. Now I've got the light grip set up. You see it's got the accuracy while moving. That's my default. The laser sight I've got as my middle. Now the problem with the laser sight is it's actually turned off by default. So if you spawn with it on, you've got to press down on the D-pad, that's if you're on PS5, to switch it on every time, and that's every time you spawn. Okay, it's not like you turn it on once and it's on, you have to turn it on every time you spawn. So it's a bit of a problem there, hopefully they'll uh, make some changes there. And then I've got the this LWG grip for the static accuracy as a backup. Now I roll with the 6KU suppressor. As standard, you can use the heavier suppressors, but they do reduce your firepower even further. I believe it goes down to an 11 or a 9, which is, yeah, just, just too low for me. So I've got that. And then I've got these muzzle brakes. You only really need one, so you could equip the standard barrel there just for something different, but I've just put those two, just whatever takes my fancy looks-wise. And then obviously sights, I've got my K8 holographic, my favourite uh, close combat sight. I've got this AR hollow as like a middle ground guy. And then the Bravo three times. You won't be hitting very much, let alone killing it from the kind of ranges you'll be using this site with. But it's good to kind of check out the battlefield, see what's around you. So now let's talk about strategy. And speaking of seeing what's around you, the proximity sensor is something you're really going to want to equip when using the MP9. Because you have such a short range on this weapon, you're going to need to maximise your use of cover, and that means knowing where the enemies are so you can put stuff in between you and them. You'll see there, as I ran through that little bit, I made sure to keep the walls kind of in between the enemies and me. So proximity sensor is massive for this, knowing where the enemies are. Equipping the Soflam is never a bad idea, or if you've got one of these specialists that can see other enemies by some way, either it's Rao with his hacking capability or Pike with her proximity scan. Definitely make use of those, that will really help you get in close. And yeah, you've just got to be as sneaky as possible really. Use that suppressor, make sure you're not shooting at enemies that are too far away. You know, only shoot at an enemy you know you can kill. And try and avoid shooting at too many enemies at once because the bullets on the MP9, unfortunately, they don't really go through any targets. So, for example, if you've got a line of soldiers sh all shooting off a ledge, and I actually had this in a game recently. Don't have a clip of it, unfortunately. They were all shooting from the objective in Kaleidoscope in the middle, the data center. I got up with a good flank next to them, aimed at their heads, fired at them. There was about five in a line, and they just had to kill one by one. So the first one dropped, second one dropped, third one dropped. By the time the third one dropped, I already had another like five or six guys shooting at me and I was killed. So you've got to be sneaky and only take what you can. Don't bite off more than you can chew, soldier. Now, if you absolutely must fight an army by yourself, take the suppressor off, equip one of the muzzle brake devices and go with the standard issue extended mags. You'll have slightly more damage, you'll have better recoil control and you'll just have to be really accurate 
and hopefully you'll be able to kill enough guys. But, you know, you do have superior mobility with this weapon, so just be sure to kind of skit around in and out of cover. Hopefully they'll have to reload before you do. If you do need to switch to your pistol, just make sure you've got the G57 equipped, ideally on burst fire. That way you'll have the best chance of finishing off an enemy before he finishes you. So that is it guys, the MP9 buttery smooth SMG. Tell me what you think of it, maybe you use a different loadout to me, I'd love to hear about those. And while we're on the subject, what weapons would you like to see next? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching the video, smash that thumbs up button if you haven't done so already and consider subscribing. I'm going to cover all the weapons eventually as well as all the specialists so stay tuned for those. I'll let the rest of the clip play out now. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.